Oh my god, there's one of these guys? I don't remember fighting a hippopotamus in this river. Oh, he's got a butt sit. Why do I not remember? Okay, he's got a grab move where he bites my head off and I'm dead. It's a one hit kill. Hey guys, we're back. It's time for some Dark Souls 2 because I hate myself. You will lose Although I feel like I remember this one so well. Long ago, in a walled off land far to the north, I believe. The King in the North! These cutscenes look good. Like a moth drawn to a flame, the fate of the cursed. All right, let's get in on this. Let's get this started. We got our punches. We got our parry. Oh, we don't have jump anymore. Does this game not have a jump? All right, I gotta be wrong here, right? Now let's go make our character. Although, see, this is gonna be, I, I forget, this is like a big dude, right? But I forget what he is. Is he like a troll or something? Or was he like an, oh, he's an actual hippo, that's right. Oh, just freaking. Well, died before I got to the character creator. I shouldn't have gone and checked out the hippo. If I, I think if I run past him, though, to the right, I can get an item. It's probably not worth it, but I'm going to go check it out. All right. He's coming after me. He's not going to make it through here, though. Item in the waterfall, maybe? Oh. Here's something, a small, uh, small smooth stone or whatever. <laughs> she sounds so much like Salad Fingers. I like it when the red water comes out. Time to make my character. You're not going to see this little bit because I'm going to keep this a surprise. So, is this the right way or do I have to go? Oh yeah, this is the right way. Got a bonfire. My name's Rick Biffley, eh? My father, he's the Lord of Cinder. He thinks he's so big and bad, but I'm here to show him I'm just as tough as he is. If you really want people to respect you, you gotta have a sweet mustache. That's what I always say. All right, father, I'm here to show you. Your son Rick's ready. He's ready to take over the kingdom. All right, let's get to business now. And you're dead. I forget what the point of lighting all these is. Is there like an actual purpose to that? All right, guys. Sorry, I'm just here to light all the torches. Grab this weapon or this uh, item real quick. Life gem. Estus flask. When do I get my Estus flask? So this is where I find these birds. And I can drop them a petrified something. Do I have like a limited number of torches too? Like I'm gonna... I forget how the torch mechanic works in this game. I really don't remember like using it or why I'd want to use it. Alright, so I want to drop my petrified something. But then do I have to like leave the area and come back? Is that how this works? Okay, so if I give you petrified something... Then I either get a Titanite Slab, a Petrified Dragon Bone, an Old Whip, a White Ring, a Demon's Great Hammer, a Chandler's Trident, or a Twinkling Titanite. There's really nothing too special here, huh? A Demon's Great Hammer, maybe? Could be one of the best weapons you can get at the start of the game, but be warned that you will need a lot of strength to wield it. Wielding a weapon in two hands halves the strength requirement, meaning that you only need 25 strength to two hand the demon's great hammer so what you're telling me is i can't use it for at least another 10 levels all right so if i click on this and i click discard hmm, i don't like that it says discard and not drop i'm sure this is just drop right oh you have to use the leave option drop it in their nest using the leave option 
Do not select discard or you will permanently lose the item without placing it on the ground. Okay, I'm glad I was looking that up because that is some pretty tricky things here. There's no drop, it's just leave or discard. Leave would seem to me like the back button, like leave this dialog box. Petrified Dragon Bone. Used to upgrade boss soul weapons. 15 needed to max uh, out just one weapon. We'll see. I may or may not ever do any boss soul stuff so all right uh wield left weapon two-handed okay whoops oh whoops come at me bro i'm about to die ow i still had like tons of stamina but that like that gave me like knockback and everything while dashing jump with the left stick. Okay. Okay. I think in the first game it was just hit B. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I've forgotten <laughs> how to play the first game already. Who cares? We're not playing the first game anymore. So I can forget how to play that. While falling, plunging attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's plunge attack this guy. Oh my god. How the heck did I miss that? Hey, it's a person. A statue blocks your way. Um, but honestly, how do you... Do I have to use an item to break a... Oh, God. Why, don't I, why do I not remember any of this? I remember, like, the pathing of this game so well. I remember... But, uh, unless maybe you're just, like, not supposed to complete that yet. Oh, well. Let's, let's just move on. I should go sit at the first bonfire. And I think I will. And then I'll go check out that other path that I know leads to, like, maybe a good sword? Alright, light in the bonfire. Sit at the bonfire. Let's go talk to this lady. I forget what she's all about. Are you the next monarch? I'm Rick Biffley. Of course I'm the next monarch. Oh, thank you for the Estes Flask. Oh, yeah, I have to come to her to level up. I forgot about that part, too. All right, what do I have for a weapon that's not this broken straight sword here? Does 80 damage, right? I need a real sword. All right, this way is, like, the next path forward. But this way is back where I came from. All right, I'm going to take this side path. All right, I'm pretty sure that there's, like, a strategy to beat this guy up right away and steal his awesome sword. Oh, yeah, 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 the statues. Um, so I can later on in the game figure out how to move the statues. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my backstab did so little to him. He's got to be, like, too high level for me, right? Yeah, look at that. Wait, what if I get this guy to fight for me? Can I? Probably not. Come on, attack me. Attack me. Hit this guy by accident. Do it, I dare you. Oh, he didn't do it. I will, though, probably. All right, this guy's easy. Oh, I lied. I lied. Get my shield back out, please. All right. Easy enough. All right, that's the statue that's blocking the way. So there is a way to, like, get rid of statues. I just... Oh, Jesus. They get staggered so easy. I'm not going to fight this guy and steal his sword. I just wanted to come here and check it out. But isn't there also like a path I can drop down here somewhere? Yeah, right here. Right here I can drop. And I get... Morning Star and Cleric Sacred blah blah blah. Who cares about Cleric stuff? I'm a warrior. Although I can use this Morning Star, which is pretty good. Binoculars, nice. 
it's wild that you start this game with one Estus flask. I like don't remember this. Oh yeah, the locksmith is like locked out, so I have to go get his keys. This game is so much more tedious than I remembered it being. <laughs> we got this person. They either give me a ring or I'm supposed to like have a ring. I don't remember. That's a lot of deaths. That's impressive. Forgot about the death counter. So I can either go in here, which I will soon. Or yeah, there's like rats to fight on the side maybe. Oh, and then down there's a path too. And that le Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's like the... I remember. Okay, so this path in front of me that I'm looking down here where you have to like go down. That leads to like a river where I have to fight my way through guys. Climb up a ladder. Fight my way through more guys. Go through a hallway. And that leads to like a bunch of ladders. And that leads to the actual game. Whereas this, this leads to like a boss. This leads, you go down through like some sewers real quick. You come out onto a platform. You have to fight like three or four giant stone golem dudes. This is a mini boss fight against Ornstein. And then past that is all the PvP. I've never been good at PvP. But then there's also another, like a real boss battle in there. And then beyond there, I remember there's like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why that, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. That's why the structure of this game is like, this is the hub of the world. And I continue on down those different paths. Uh, I can join this covenant. Might as well, why not, right? I forget what this covenant does. Maybe this is like a PvP covenant. Maybe I didn't want that, I don't know. I remember like going around back behind here somewhere. Oh, and then there's, then, 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 then there's this. You gotta get like the silver cat ring to get down there. Oh yeah, okay. This is doesn't isn't the doesn't the cat live in here or something? Yeah. Here's the cat. I think she sells the silver cat ring for like a hefty price, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Silver cat ring. Thirteen thousand souls. So it's gonna be a little while. I could abandon my covenant and join this covenant. I don't know what a good covenant is in this game. All right, but behind this building, there's like rats. Well, first, I gotta get this item. That's just flask shard, nice. Here's the rats. Are these rats or are these like pigs? What are these? Oh, they're tough, whatever they are. Oh my God, why are they so tough? Oh God, I don't remember these guys being so difficult. We are in it now. All right, let's go talk to her and see what I can do with these Estus shards. Maybe I can get a second Estus flask. All right, my Estus flask has been strengthened. Okay, so now I've got two flasks. All right, screw those freaking little... This door's locked? No, come on. All right, well, I'm going to go the way that I know is the correct first way, which is this way. All right, no mimics, right? No. Is it a trap chest, though? Get out of here. Get out of here. Dive, 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 dive. Nope. Okay, so why did these people die next to the chest? Oh, PvP fighting each other. Man, there's a lot of PvP going on here. Let's move on through here. And that is the way to continue outward, but I want to go down first to collect uh, a couple of items. Humanity, and then there's this item over here. Oh, I didn't jump. I didn't jump. There we go. Got me a homeward bone and a lost soul. And here I am out in the river. Oh my god, there's one of these guys? Do I really have to fight one of these guys right off the bat? I don't remember that. I remember fighting little guys. I don't remember fighting a freaking hippopotamus. Oh, hello. Little guys like this guy. All right. There it is. Sort of, kind of. I don't remember fighting a hippopotamus in this river. Oh, he's got a butt sit. Why do I not remember? Okay, 
He's got a grab move where he bites my head off, and I'm dead. It's a one-hit kill. I don't remember him here. How fucking tough was this game? I don't remember this game being so hard. All right, guys, I'm going to pause this real quick. Uh, I will be back. And we're back. Is that why this game sucked so much? Was because, like, the difficulty just made no sense? Because I'm, like, here at the starting area. And there's a freaking hippo? I don't remember there being a goddamn hippo. I really don't. Uh, you'll notice I'm, like, faced a different direction now. I had to move my whole setup. I'm dog setting my brother's dog. Cute little Westie. I moved my setup out into, like, a common area instead of in my bedroom. That way I know if the dog needs to go outside or anything. Um, try stabbing in the back. Yeah, I mean, that's obvious. Fatty? Question mark. Did I just, like, ignore him? Is that how I played this before? I just, like, maybe fully ignored him and walked by? I'm pretty sure there's a bonfire right over here, though. So I might as well sit at this bonfire. This hippo has to be, like, a one-time kill, right? Oh my gosh. Ow. How? How do you beat him? Alright, get me my souls back, and then I'm just leaving. Ditching this hippo. Oh, he's coming for me. Gonna avoid the hippo. And I remember there was, like, a dude with daggers, maybe, over here. Oh, here's a guy. Oh, there's the guy with daggers. Or a bow. He's got a bow. Oh my god, where'd you come from? Holy cow. Ow, ow, getting shot with arrows. This isn't very cool. Why is this game so hard? Oh no, what just happened to me? Oh, come on. Seriously? Fuck! Where's my Black Knight sword? Where's the Zwiehander? How am I gonna cheat my way through this? This sucks. I really wanna beat this stupid hippo, but I don't think that I can do it with this morning star i need like a real sword i'm a, i'm supposed to be a warrior here when am i gonna get my first real sword if i remember correctly there's gonna be like three guys maybe that i have to fight here on the ground see i try to trick you i forgot that this game turned into like a weird zombie game where everybody's just like faking dead Ow! Ow! Dude! Uncalled for! I took out like half my health with a kick. Well, that was rude. I'm sure we got somebody who's gonna start shooting arrows at us too. I'm gonna leave him alone. I'm gonna grab this item. Alright, there's no arrow guy. That's good. Should I jump over there? Can I jump over there? I mean, I'm gonna give it a shot. Nice, I made it. We got more throwing knives. Well, if that wasn't just like... Yep, hurrah for pointless. Yeah, that's that's about right. I'll try to kill everybody else while I can. Gotta sneak up on him and kill him. I thought there was like three dudes up here. Apparently there's way more than three dudes up here. Ooh, we have a couple of swords. Uh, short sword. Foot soldier sword. Let's try the foot soldier sword for now. Not a bad little sword. Does this guy just throw a firebomb at me or something? Oh, he did throw a firebomb at me. Oh, missed. Oh man, that's a strong sword. Can I have it? Apparently not. Uh, we, we could level up a couple times. Another broken straight sword. So I'm confused. 
I thought sitting right here under this tree was the white soldier. And then he's like further on in the game a couple times, isn't he? But he's not here. I'm just going to continue onward. See if I can make it to the next bonfire with no Estus. Although I could go level up. Oh, my foot soldier sword's already at risk? Are you kidding me? I just freaking picked this thing up. And it's broken. It's got... Is that 20 durability? Short sword, 60 durability maybe? Man, weapons just aren't very durable. 60 durability is the best I've got so far. Oh, hello. Goodbye. So there's this guy to the right of me. And then there's a guy maybe up there that throws firebombs. Shit. There's two guys here. Yikes. Yikes. I just want to make it to the next bonfire. That's all. All right, that's a three attack. Oh, or is that a four attack? I don't know. Every, the good thing about this game, though everybody seems to be very strong and have a lot of attacks, they all seem to get staggered so easily. Oh, there's a guy with arrows and fire. a guy with firebombs. Do I have any sort of arrows? I don't. I have daggers. Nice. Cool. I think I'm pretty good now. I think I'm, like, relatively safely able to get to this bonfire. Alright, we got a guy over there hucking daggers at us. Alright, up the ladder. There's, like, one more guy maybe around this corner. There he is. Another one of these big guys. Oh my Jesus Christ, dude. I was... I had my shield up. Oh, I'm... I might be fucked. That is actually bullshit. That is 100% bullshit. I already ate the fucking life gem. And I fucking had my shield back up. And he just fucking stabbed underneath my shield. And killed me. What the actual fuck was that? God damn. Dark Souls 2 is gonna suck. Oh my god, I'm so fucking far away from my souls. I was that close to the bonfire. I shouldn't have gone to the left there. I should have just gone through the fucking door. The game does give me a lot of throwing knives. Maybe I should use them more often. Oh, fuck. Well, there goes my first, like, 3,000 fucking souls, dude. That sucked. That sucked so much. I know the other way is harder, but I'm going to go the other way, just for the hell of it. Okay. Huh. I thought this was an option already. It's not an option? You're telling me I can't go this way? Wait, no, I can go this way. I lied. I'm just a dum-dum. Okay, do I have to run past a guy now? Oh, here he is. See, this is the guy that I thought was leaned up against, like, that tree. I guess not. But we'll be seeing him in other parts. What? I thought this was one guy. Why are there two of them? All right, I want to get to this bonfire. But part of me wants to fight this guy. Oh, I'm a... What the fuck are you doing, dude? What if by joining this covenant, I've made the game harder? Could that be what the Covenant of Champions does? I thought it was something to do with getting invaded more, maybe. I'm going to abandon my current Covenant, just in case. Let's see just how, like, tough this guy is. Okay, he's pretty tough. He's pretty tough. Okay. He's strong. All right, now is this guy gone? No, he's still here. And that one's still there. 
I don't ever remember seeing two of these guys at the same time, though. What is going on with that? Whatever. I don't care. Alright, I have to get down to this bonfire quick. Oh, cannot use it. Because this guy's here. Whoa. Yo, uh, a fella there. There we go. Alright, I've now sat at this bonfire. We're going to do this little section instead, see how difficult this is. I can't seem to backstab this guy so easy, but... Ow! Not cool. And he's done. Oh, if I remember correctly, dude with the bomby knocker is a little bit different. Yeah, that's the move I want to see. That's the move I want to see. Oh, come on, come on. This guy is quicker than I thought. Much quicker than I thought. Come get me. Alright, don't really get me though. Alright, he's dead. Another 400 souls. So that gateway right there, inside that little chapel, is Ornstein. Why is that roof, like, breathing? I don't know why that roof is breathing. That's weird. I don't remember that. All right, Mr. Shield, Mr. Shield. Yep, step away from that ledge. I don't want to fight you on a ledge. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, so I have to pull a couple of levers to make the arena for this boss battle bigger so I don't fall off. Should I try to beat one more guy? Or should I just go now? I think I'll just go now and level up. Vigor levels up our HP and our Petrify Resistance. Endurance levels up HP a little bit with some stamina, some physical defense, and some poise. Why does everything seem to increase our HP a little bit? I'm just going to go full strength build. Alright, I haven't found any items that opens up this door yet, have I? Where would I find this item? I think I know where I'll find this item. Yep, you know what I have to do? I have to go the correct way, don't I? Let's go to the Forest of the Fallen Giants. So anyways, that's the second path, and it's got all those giant stone guys. Oh, two hits now. Yeah, okay. Increasing my strength just one. Increase the amount of damage that I just did by a significant margin. It used to take three hits to kill everybody. Now it takes two hits to kill these guys. Oh, that guy still took three hits, though. Another thing about this game that I forgot is that, essentially, you're just always cursed. My max health is down whenever I'm not in human form. What if I ate a humanity now? Does it turn me human now, or does it... Oh, it does. Nice. That is a nice improvement over the last game. It didn't heal me. It just made me human. I do feel much stronger, much better. I'm sure that's all just in my head, but I'll take it. Ow, don't do that. Of course, they have to be triggered at the same time. Goodbye. Thanks for hiding around that corner and waiting for me to finish up with this guy. That was very honorable of you. All right, I'm not going to use my daggers against this guy, though. Oh, Jesus! All right, I made a mistake. I should have used my daggers. You silly. Do I even bother? Probably not. Let's just go straight in. Let's just forget that guy on the left. Oh, God. Oh, God, I shouldn't have. That's why you go for that guy on the left. Come on. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. All right, goodbye. Hey, a summoning sign. 
This looks like a, just a regular person. All right, old lady, what do you have to sell? We've got the blacksmith's key. I want to get this blacksmith key. Pharaoh's lockstone. I know I need Pharaoh's lockstone for a lot of different things, too. A fragrant branch of yore. Oh, this is what I need to uh, get the statues out of my way, right? I'm going to go open the blacksmith's hut plus. Plus, I think I'll level up. I remember down here there's like a cave with some frogs. Is there like a really good sword maybe in the back of that cave? Duo ahead? Duo. What do you mean by duo? You climb down here, you go in some sort of cave that's got some frogs in it. I don't remember a duo. Alright, and then there's something up here too. It's locked! Are you kidding me? Fuck, how do I get the key for this then? Does this lead me to the boss battle with, like, the giant tree, I think? I think it does. My father thinks he's so good, but Rick Biffley's here. And Rick Biffley's playing a much tougher game than Chet ever played. Let's go strength. Let's go all the way strength. Aha. Uh -huh. Opened up. All right, I'll come back. Rick Biffley will be back. Oh, or do I rob him? Shortbow, nice. I'm just gonna try teleporting back to the same place to see if he gets, see if he has moved inside yet. Oh, it looks like he's gone inside, he is. Here he is. Working at his forge. What have you got for sale? You've got a long sword, a broad sword. Ooh, you got yourself an axe. It does 15, it does 140 damage. Well, thank you guys for watching today. I'm Rick Biffley, the son of Chet Biffley, Lord of Cinder, don't you know? And this game, it looks like it's gonna be much tougher than the first. But that's going to be no match for Rick Biffley. Because I've got my father's blood running through my veins. In the next episode, we're going to take on one of the bosses. Not sure which one yet. Either one is fine with me because Rick Biffley is a strong, fearsome warrior. Thank you for watching. Tune in next episode. Bye. <laughs>